Today I'm putting Ronaldo's career in reverse, meaning he'll start as a skinny teenager at Al Nasser before leaving for footballing giants Man United, then Juventus, Real Madrid and so on to see if he can have a better career than he did in real life, which is gonna be very tough. But he's already off to a flying start, scoring 15 goals and getting 10 assists in his first season. Plus, with Al Hilal's Neymar out injured, not only was Ronaldo by far the best winger in the league, he also led his team to the Saudi League title, which is cool, but for Cristiano that's only the beginning, because his ultimate goal is to win the Champions League. Luckily for Ronaldo, every big European club wanted him, but in the end it was Manchester United who offered the most money to sign him. So in season 2, Cristiano made his Premier League debut, determined to prove that he was worth the hype. Yet it didn't take long for fans to see that that Ronaldo was indeed something special. The Portuguese wonder kid absolutely loved embarrassing defenders, showing off his tricks and quick feats. And while he didn't score as many goals as he did in Saudi, he still made a big impact, helping United grab a top 4 finish and qualify for next year's Champions League. But it was in Ronaldo's third season when things started to seriously go wrong. The now 84 overall winger continued to show off his skills and tricks on the field, but United United's manager Eric Ten Hag wasn't impressed. With the Red Devils now playing UCL football, Ten Hag felt Ronaldo's style was holding the team back. I mean, he needed someone who could score and deliver results, not just entertain the crowd. Ronaldo should be in a circus. He shouldn't be on the pitch. And soon enough, an angry Cristiano found himself on the bench, watching from the sidelines as he only managed to put up four goals and four assists the entire season. However, there was one last chance for redemption. You see, Manchester United made it to the FA Cup final against Arsenal, but the winner will be decided by a penalty shootout. Ronaldo will surely be one of the takers. And with a trophy on the line, he cannot afford to miss. Let's go, up first is Bruno Fernandes. He must score this one. Come on, Bruno. You're made for these moments. Vamos! Let's go, 1-0. Bukayo Saka, you're going. Left! Oh my god, he did a panenka. Marcus Rashford, come on, don't let us down. Don't let the fans down. Let's go. Hey, Havertz. Hey! Oh hell no. Oh hell no, what a nice saving that. And Cristiano Ronaldo is up next. Come on, Cristiano. Powerful shot. Yes, and it's not saved. Top right corner, you're not saving that. Gabriel Jesus. Down the middle he goes. And now we have Harry Potter. Harry Maguire. Let's go, panenka. Oh my, my bad. My bad. Like rice. Hey! Wrong side, man. Wrong side, Onana. Rasmus Hoylund, the fake. Haaland is up next. And we're going left. And it's not saved. Which means that if Michael Merino misses this next shot, Arsenal go home and Man United lift the FA Cup. Michael Merino does not miss, though. Eriksen, you still have hair in this game. Even though in real life, you know what your hairline looks like. But anyway, here he goes. And it's saved. Wait. Oh, no. We could be losing. And it's Gabriel. Mm, Gabriel. Gabriel Martinelli, oh no, don't do this to me, Gabriel. Don't do this to me, Gabriel. Don't do this to me, Gabriel. We lose in the penalty shootout. And if you're being honest, this season has just been a total disaster, man. Yet it didn't matter if they had won or lost, because Ronaldo already made up his mind. He's leaving Manchester United and promises to never ever come back. Now, with his transfer value going down, Cristiano knew he needed to turn his career around. And Italy seemed the perfect place to do just that, as Juventus were the only ones who believed in his potential. And under the guidance of new manager Thiago Motta, Ronaldo began to evolve. He got way stronger, more disciplined and worked harder than ever before. But his real breakout wouldn't come until two seasons later in season 6, where Ronaldo truly became the main man at Juventus, racking up 22 goals and 10 assists, which is by far his best individual season so far. Now yes, Ronaldo gave it his all, but Juventus finished only second in the league and saw their Champions League run and early in the quarter. Quarterfinals. Despite all his growth, Ronaldo couldn't carry the team alone. But don't worry, because in season 7, 
one help was coming and it would change everything. First, Paul Pogba returned, bringing energy to the midfield. Marquinhos was brought in to strengthen the defense and then, surprise, they even signed Neymar. With all of these stars joining him, Juventus looked unstoppable in the Serie A and Ronaldo was making his case for being the best player in the world. But I'll tell you more about his amazing stats later, because when it comes to the Champions League on the other hand, well, we weren't doing so great. Sure, Juventus made it to the UCL semi-finals, yet after losing the first game 2-0, we're in deep trouble against Liverpool. But the second leg is here, we're playing at Anfield and the pressure is huge. Right now, all eyes are on Ronaldo and it's up to him to pull off a comeback away from home and take Juventus to the UCL final. Because at the age of 25, I think it's about time he wins a UCL title if he wants to become the GOAT like he did in real life. To kneel down, it's gonna be a tough task, but let's hope we can get it done. Oh, not like that. That would be quite a start, eh? But which run? No, Trent. Trent is playing defense. If Trent plays defense today, we might be finished. But that wouldn't be the case, as he left a big hole at the back just minutes later. Run, Ronaldo, run. Run, run. Nice, let's go, let's go. Freeway, so free, so free. We just shoot it, we just shoot it. But Allison comes up with a save. Uh, maybe I should have passed it. Our first attempt didn't go to plan, but when the same gap opened up again, I knew we had to take advantage. I don't like the look of this. Okay, I do. I love it. Trent is out. Let's go. There's no right back. Let's go. Uh, which? Neymar, please. Neymar with the... F How did you miss that? How oh, you can't afford to miss it. And unlike Juventus, Liverpool proved to be much more clinical in front of goal. No, please. What is my defense doing? I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I'm so... Oh, 3-0 down on aggregate, huh? I absolutely stink. Ronaldo, go on. How is he? Who is that? Salah. Salah is being a real hater. Coming back on defense just to stop Ronaldo. However, this only motivated Cristiano to push harder and his determination soon paid off. Ronaldo, fake shot! Oh! Get, grab the ball, grab the ball. We need to score two. I said grab it. Okay, just celebrate then, just celebrate. I don't care. Sui, you should not be celebrating right here because we need two more goals, but anyway, we'll take one. We have the second half left. This was lovely, by the way, fake shot. Badum. Hopefully Cristiano can inspire the whole team to make that comeback happen. So we'll slide now with the ball to Mohamed Salah. He has so much space. Let's go. Oh, that was so clutch. Vamos. Counter attack. Cristiano. Vlahovic. Okay, no counter attack for us. Oh, wow. He has some space again. Offside, offside. We're finished, bro. We're finished. We, we can go home already. And it's Luis Diaz again. Ronaldo tried his best to make something happen after that, but he just wasn't meant to be. Yeah, the UCL title unfortunately slipped away. But this season was far from a failure. With 42 goals and 7 assists across all competitions, Ronaldo has silenced the haters and made everyone forget about his struggles from a couple of years ago. But now now there's one final challenge left. Juventus face a do or die game against Inter, a match that will decide who takes home the Serie A title. A title Juventus haven't lifted in years. After everything he's accomplished, Cristiano knows he can't let this season end without a trophy. It's clear that Ronaldo's gonna finish as the league's top scorer, but the big question is, can he also finish as the league champion? Juventus would have the first good chance. Oh, but to Cristiano. Find Vlachovic, maybe. Vlaho! Are you serious? You have got to be kidding me. How do you miss that? You're like 6-4. After this, Inter completely took control of the game. But thankfully, they couldn't take the lead. Until this happened. Turami said it again. Lotaro Martinez! Eee! Yeah, they hit the post. They were playing so much better. So Ronaldo knew it was time to turn the momentum around and get Juventus back on track. Yo, go alone. And we are finessing it. Ronaldo, you should have scored that. So why didn't you? Serie A is on the line, my friend. Lahuic, you fraud. Can you find Cristiano somehow? No, you can find the goal instead. Brilliant. How can a player be so useless? Anyway, at the start of the second half, our defense was in absolute shambles. Oh, this is bad. This is... This is okay. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's going wrong. It's not like we don't create any chances and Inter are about to score anytime soon. No, it's not like that. You are not catching up. You are not. 
Okay, you may, maybe you are. Okay, you just did. Give me the... Yep. Oh my god, Ronaldo is tired now. Let's chill down a bit. Offside, sir. Offside, offside, offside. Offside. This is bad, bruv. This is very bad. It's all this Ronaldo's fault. You know what? I couldn't care less because we're down by a goal. We have to win something this season. Please. So Ronaldo and Neymar decided to lock in. By the way, make sure to subscribe if you're enjoying the video, okay? Oh, Neymar. 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 <laughs> Okay, I was about to say that's the wrong celebration, but no, that's the right one. When you're clutch, you do that. <laughs> Did you see that? We're right back. We're right back in the game. Oh, he didn't hesitate at all. Bastoni got left behind. Oh, Summer couldn't get there in time. And it is 1-1, ladies and gentlemen. And with that goal, our confidence was sky high. So against all odds, Ronaldo was able to make a comeback. Yes, Cristiano. Yes, Cristiano. Left foot! <laughs> <laughs> we are so, so calm. Nothing happened. He didn't just maybe score the game winner for the title. <laughs> yes. Ooh, what a finish. That's why he's the coach. Well, in this video, not yet. But maybe soon. There it is. Juventus finally lift the Serie A trophy. The Portuguese winger stepped up put the team on his back and delivered exactly what they needed. But Ronaldo's season didn't just end with the league title. He was so good that he was later awarded with his first Ballon d'Or and even Ten Hag sent him congratulations. Congrats on the Ballon d'Or, Cristiano. Well deserved. You see what happens when you start focusing on scoring goals instead of doing those useless stepovers? Yet when Ronaldo saw this, he couldn't help but feel like Ten Hag was just making fun of him. Deep down, he knew he proved himself this season. But one thing was still missing. The Champions League. And for Cristiano, there was only one place where he felt he could finally win it. Real Madrid. Known for their European dominance, Madrid seemed like the perfect place to chase his ultimate goal. However, his first season in Spain was tougher than expected. Adjusting to a new league and building chemistry with Mbappé and Vinicius Jr. took time. But it it wouldn't be any of these two causing problems. It was actually Barcelona superstar La Min Yamal, who stole the spotlight, finishing as La Liga's top scorer and leaving everyone else in the dust. Oh look, it's Penaldo, the guy who won a Ballon d'Or last season without even winning the Champions League. I mean, come on. For us Barca players, we at least pretend to deserve it before we win it. Anyway, enjoy your time in Madrid while it lasts, cause you'll never out shine me. Well, we'll see about that, because in season 9, Cristiano Ronaldo was back to his best. He banged in an unbelievable 50 goals, added 16 assists, and led Real Madrid all the way to the Champions League final. And as if he needed any more motivation, the UCL final was against none other than Manchester United. This wasn't just about a shiny European trophy anymore, it became personal. Can Ronaldo finally lift the Champions League trophy and do so against the very team that almost ruined his career. We're about to find out. But with Pogba now back in Manchester, Sancho in his prime and Frankie Ding Dong becoming a red devil at last, this match will be very tough to win. Oh, Sancho is actually good now. And that is not good for us. Yo, stop it. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Hey, the game has 90 minutes. You don't need to score already. Yet Ronaldo wanted to score as soon as possible. Ronaldo! Oh, na na. Uh, when did you become this good? I don't remember you like that. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. You're not gonna shoot with your left, are you? Yes, he did. But thankfully, we have Thibaut Courtois. Uh, what is wrong with your hands, by the way? Well, as long as they're saving shots, I'm okay with it. We didn't create many chances in the first 45 minutes. And even when we did, Every attack got shut down. Ronaldo get in the get in the box for a cross. What a weak header from you, CR7. But in the second half, everything changed. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Ronaldo, please! Yes! Kylian Mbappé to Cristiano Ronaldo. That celebration is unusual from you, but we'll take it. Oh, imagine if they play together at Real Madrid in real life. But it's a shame that uh, Mbappé decided to stay at Paris Saint-Germain for like way too many years. But hey, who cares? It's the Champions League final and we're winning. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it is. But our leads didn't last long. Uh, Courtois. Courtois! 
No! It's Alejandro Garnacho. Courtois comes up with a brilliant save. But the rebound goes straight to the Argentinian who loves Ronaldo in real life. But for this video, he's causing some real big problems for Real Madrid and Ronaldo in this game. However, despite our team conceding, we were still the much better opponents. No side. Yeah. No side. But Ronaldo says no. You ain't scoring against me again. Well, uh, we'll see about that. We for sure will. But in the meantime, Mbappé did this. Hey, why not? Oh, I thought it went in. Yo, imagine, imagine dragons. Mbappe, I didn't know you had a long shot like that. Now, I don't know what United's game plan is from now on, but they are leaving a lot of holes in their defense. I see you, Ronaldo. I see you. As I said, I have no clue about United, but I knew exactly what our plan was. Find Cristiano and give him the ball. Please, Ronaldo, you have to, you have to score this. And you do! In the 86th minute, I just realized. <laughs> what a nice slide. Lovely, lovely, lovely! And just like a couple of seasons back against Inter for the Serie A League title, Ronaldo is clutch again when it matters most. The beautiful Champions League trophy is right in front of our faces. And hopefully it's the first of many for the superstar Cristiano Ronaldo. Winning the Champions League with Real Madrid was huge. And Ronaldo's amazing year earned him his second Ballon d'Or. It felt like he was on top of the world. However, as season 10 kicked off, things took an unexpected turn. At 28, Ronaldo was in his prime and it looked like nothing could stop him. But in the middle of the season, he went down with a painful injury that would keep him out for months. It took him a long time to recover. And when he did, Ronaldo wouldn't return to the winger role that made him so famous. Instead, Cristiano had to adapt his game, taking on the new challenge of playing as a striker. Ronaldo may have struggled a lot, but you know he never gives up. By season 11, CR7 was back on the field, ready to prove himself again. And oh boy did he do just that, as Real Madrid managed to make it to another Champions League final. But this time they sadly lost to Barcelona and Lamin Yamal, who of course won the Ballon d'Or as well and couldn't stop bragging about it. Who's the best player in the world now, huh? You will never beat me, especially not in a final. And right after Barcelona, Sassuin, the baldy Ten Hag wasted no time reaching out to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, I'm sorry I called you a clown for spamming stepovers on national television. That's my bad. But I'll be honest, I really need you back at United. This year, Lamine, Yamal, and Barca embarrassed us in the semis. With you and my team, though, I know we have what it takes to take them down. Cristiano, you're the missing piece. United need to lift that Champions League trophy. If we don't win it next year, I'm done. <laughs> They'll sack me. No doubt about it. Now, Ronaldo could have easily said no, but the chance to win the UCL with two different clubs and to do it with United, a place where he wasn't exactly loved, was just too good to pass up. So he made peace with Ten Hag and returned to Manchester. At 30 years of age, with a fresh start in England, Cristiano Ronaldo was on fire. 94 overall, rocking the noodle hair and an incredible 61 goals already under his belt. The team was Stacked, the city was ready to embrace him again, and UCL was calling. Now it was time to answer. Hey. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. So instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time? You're delirious, mysterious Because you are behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah 
now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself Better write down Every day feel like a fight now Turn the lights out I'm just searching for some clarity Like wrong and right now Can't escape I love the demons Running from my lighthouse Yeah, I got so many feelings Gotta work on myself Every day feel yeah. like a fight now Wanna get you out of mind And out of sight now But I just pulled up to the function With the lights out They say life's a trip I don't care about no baggage though I just got here She just told me me that she had to go why you have to go oh i hardly know you say you a party goer i'm like where the party go girl you've been playing with my heart just like some cardio on oh, mario i always been the third wheel like i'm wario yeah yeah i'm always going uh i cannot do boring uh. got my angels ignore me yeah now my mind been getting stormed and they want me like a fight now turn the lights out the big moment has arrived, the UCL final. CR7 is a big game player, but standing in his way is Labin Yamal, and he isn't backing down. Knowing that, can Ronaldo bring the European glory back to Old Trafford, save Ten Hag's job, and get revenge on FC Barcelona? Goodbye! <laughs> Look, Joe is faster than you. Whoop. Well, that's a quick yellow card here for Gavi. Yeah, take that, Gavi. Gavi, what are you doing, Gavi? You're trying to shoot from there? You're not nice like that. Paul Pogba. Hey, why not? We love those long shots, but we love hitting the opponents in their heads more. It took Cristiano a full 20 minutes to get his first shot off. And then, goodbye. <laughs> nice slide attack. Lovely. Lovely. Ronaldo, get open. Ronaldo. Ro Rashford again. Down the wing he goes. Nice fake shot. Find Sancho. Who shoots? But, ah, oh, man. But Araujo was right there. Nice shielding from Laminia. Mal. No, let's go. We can block some shots as well. And we do it again. This game is good. I like this match. Uh oh, oh. Spignif again. No, don't let him Don't let him shoot. Don't let him shoot. Do not. I said, do not let him shoot. He hit the crossbar. I mean, crossbar. He hit the post. Come on, Sancho. Get included in the attack. Yes. Ronaldo. Fake shot. Goodbye, Araujo. Can we pull this off? Nope. Ah, Araujo is doing his job perfectly up until this point. Match facts. Let's see. Okay, four shots each. Um, yeah, this match is very, very even, but this would soon change with CR7 raising the intensity. Frankie de Jong, who's in the box? Ronaldo is here. Ronaldo jumps, but uh, the same thing happens. The Polish goalie was there to stop the attempt. Why the f*** is Lewandowski running like that? <laughs> Hilarious. Anyhow, I don't want to make it sound like Barca were bad, because they were very dangerous at times as well. Clear it! Yet, they weren't trying as much as Ronaldo, who hit the crossbar here and and I got really pissed at him. Why don't you just do what you do best and put the goddamn ball in the net? Well, the reason was this. There's no space. There is absolutely no space for us. Wait. Yeah, there is some space, but Ronaldo just can't get to his spots today. Um, this is bad. This, what? This is so clutch from the league to look sure I did not see it. I swear, he was so about to score. And that's 90 minutes gone. The UCL final is going to extra time. I have to change something, bro. I have to change the formation, something. It's, it's not working. But the new formation didn't help at all. It felt like we actually got worse. Um, hello, what are my defenders doing? No, he's so alone. He's so alone. Why was he left all alone? Of course it's Maguire's fault. Who else? You should have been on the bench, but you're a funny guy, so you get to play. Stop spamming the same moves every time. Get out! Ah, you're out. Ah, you got taken out of the game. <laughs> and funnily enough, as soon as Lamina left the pitch, Ronaldo went on to seal the deal. Please, please let it be. Please don't miss now. Finesse! Finesse! Let's go! Let's go! Yes! Oh my god, you you fell. But it doesn't matter! There's no way it took us 1-1-0 one, one, minutes. 110 minutes. But it was all worth it in the end. Araujo was so close to me. Chesney could have saved it. But it worked out in the best possible way. And now we have 10 minutes left to defend this lead. And then lift that Champions League trophy with Man United. Which hasn't happened in so long. Is that Ansu Fati? the captain's element. Wow. Still the number 10, huh? Still the number 10. 
Oh, he missed. I was about to cry. Here he is, the clown who only used to spam step overs. Is lifting the Champions League title with Man United. And Hawk will not go jobless. And if you enjoy this video, you will definitely enjoy any of these two as well.